Okay, hello there folks. Uh, today we're going to look at the uh, Dakota Alert uh, base station here. Uh, we got it uh, running to a little 12-volt uh, battery right here. Although you can run it off a 12-volt uh, adapter from the wall if you so wish. Obviously. But anyways, uh, the Dakota Alert uh, base station is... Uh, uh, I think it's like anywhere from... 65 to 89 dollars or something and uh it's mainly used as a receiver for the uh, dakota alert uh tr transmitters that have like uh you know driveway sensors for cars and uh, motion sensors stuff like that they always say alert zone one or something but anyways uh you know since this is a mers intercom any radio with the uh, mers frequencies uh can uh chat with this. Currently we have it on MERS channel 2, uh, 151.880, and uh, we're going to see how well it uh, performs. Uh, you know, the good thing about this is that uh, unlike the Dakota Alert Handy Talkies, uh, this MERS base station has a BNC connection, so you can run it all the way up to there on a little uh, Ed Fong antenna. I don't know if you could see it. But uh, it's up there. I got it up there about maybe 30 feet or so. Anyways, uh, you can only have a uh, maximum uh, height of 60 feet above the ground or uh, 20 feet above a uh, structure, uh, I believe, as it is defined in uh, the FCC rules for MERS uh, multi-use radio system radios. But anyways, this is what it came with, but as I've demonstrated, uh, you can attach an external antenna, uh, which is really nice. And uh, this is a base station, so it has the full 2 watts of power available for MERS, unlike the little 1 watt uh, handy talky units. Uh, but uh, anyways, this is a uh, good uh, radio, because uh, it seems to be the only MERS base station made as of now. I mean, uh, they have the old Radio Shack uh, business band radio, which could do the MERS frequencies, but those are few and far between, uh, very difficult to come by. But this, you know, uh, it's normally like 89 bucks. I picked this up at Goodwill for like a dollar 99 or so. Don't know if you can see it. So yeah, I saw it there, and I just had to swipe this thing up. But anyways, let's get to testing it. Okay, I'm doing it. Now what? Uh, test, test, test. Say it again. I am at mile marker one. Use the PCT button on the base to contact me. What you doing? I'm testing this radio out. Uh, according to the GPS, I'm one mile away from uh, the transmitter. Uh, this is not too bad. Uh, I'm going to see if I can record it here. All right, how am I coming in? Okay, uh, what were you saying? I just wondered how you were receiving me. Are you going to a mile and a half? I was going to go to the two mile mark. Okay, call me when you get there. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Affirmative. I hear you loud and clear. Uh, you're coming in really well. Uh, yeah, I turned my cell phone off, so we're strictly on radio now. Yeah, this is two miles wide of sight. Okay, where's your next uh, place going to be? Well, this is as far out as I mapped it, but uh, I tell you what, the results of this are amazing. That little edge fog antenna is really full on its way. And you know, if I had a longer rope and a higher branch, I could get it up to the maximum of 60 feet and go even further. Yeah, you're getting a little staticky. Actually, you're pretty plain, I guess, as you'll see on the recording. <laughs> 